Welcome back to Silent Hill Downpour. We're currently on the second floor of the library, inside of the Centennial Building, which has many, many floors. I think our ultimate goal is to basically get to the top floor and reach the radio station place to see if we can speak with that DJ. I don't know if that's actually an official quest, but I'm pretty sure that's what we're doing. Yeah, one of the quests that's already done in the top right there is find a way to the radio station. We found the way, we just gotta keep going through. The only official quests we still have is find a, find a warm coat for the beggar, find the missing paintings, and escape from Silent Hill. So, let's continue exploring the library. First though, I wanna show you something. I just figured out what's been going on with the save games. Um, you might have heard me before mention that it seems like it's losing saves sometimes. I come back and I'm back quite a bit and have to redo a bunch of progress. Well, I just figured it out. The save game locations, like where they are in the order of saved games, is scrambled. Normally, like the rightmost or the topmost save, the one that's loaded automatically would be the one where you've played for the longest, right? The one with the most playtime is the one that gets loaded when you press the continue button. But not the case here, which is probably an emulator issue. I, I really doubt this issue is in the original game. Uh, but if you look here, the save game all the way on the right, so this is the one that it loaded when I pressed the continue button in the main screen. This is what it thinks is the latest save, is this one where I've progressed 20% through the game and my playtime is five hours and 11 minutes. And then look at the time played for these others, these ones that are supposed to be older ones. So we got 511, 533, so this one's newer, 531, this one's older, 601, that's the one I just loaded to get here, this is the newest, and then this one over here is 524, so it's just like totally randomized. I have no idea why it's like that. Probably just a weird emulator bug. When you lose someone you love, How do they know the name of that painting? There's no plaque. Must have picked that skill up in prison. Yeah, what were the floors again? You are here. We're all the way down on the second floor and there's restaurant, town, museum, and then radio station. Long way to go. Hmm. It's possible I have the passcode to this. There's two things we need passwords to now. This thing, and also if you remember, a little bit back there, there was a strange door with a bunch of dials on it, the one that we heard screams behind. And we do have some clues from those books that were marked by the UV lights, but let's keep exploring before I try to open any of these things. Don't want to jump the gun before I've seen everything. Have I been down here? Because that's down to the first floor. Well, not going to show up on the map until I go down. No, I haven't been here. Also, there's a doll in that case. There's another doll in that case. Fuck. And all I have in my hand is a broken stick. Mm. Okay. Um... Do I just need to keep hitting the actual doll, right? I think? I need a fucking weapon. I know there's chairs, but they suck. Shit. Please get out of the doorway.
Did that do anything? No, I still need to hit the original. Definitely. God, those things are creepy. They're really cool enemies. Let's take a med kit. They give you a lot of chairs in this room, just for this purpose, I guess. Can I break glass with my fist? Will these break anymore? Nah, they're as broken as I'll get. Ah! Remember back at somewhere around the beginning of this library, we saw this trail going to a door that was covered. I think this is the other side, yes. This is the other side of that door, so I should follow that and see where it goes. I'll do that in a second. I really want a proper weapon. It's been so long since they've given me something. Usually they give you so much. That other doll's gonna come out at some point, isn't it? Ooh. There's gotta be something special in here for that special camera angle. You're in 102. Some odd noises in the background. Weird whispers and monster noises. Pistol bullets! I love the switching camera th systems. So, I never paid much attention to this. But... I suppose the walkie-talkie... ...is the equivalent of the... ...the, uh, the radio that blares static when you're near enemies in the other Silent Hill games. Except in this, it's a walkie-talkie, and what you hear is, like, police chatter. I never found the whole radio static thing to really matter that much. Like, I never needed to manage it or anything, even though you could turn off the radios. It didn't seem to matter much. Probably turning off the radio would make you more stealthy. Hmm? Hmm? Okay, a ghost just came out of there. It wasn't a doll ghost, though, because it'd be shown by the UV light. What could happen? What could possibly happen? Trust yourself, man. You know more than you think you do. Was that activated by going in there? Damn. Like, real reflections. Looks like the reflections aren't updated at quite the speed as the other stuff. Like, if the screen... if most of this stuff is being rendered at 30 FPS, like, the... 
mirror image might be maybe 15 or something. Could be an emulator issue, could also just be a way of saving some performance, because yeah, doing a real reflection like that is actually pretty computationally intensive. Seeing a bunch of trees growing into the library, busting through the windows. Did I miss any doors back there? No. City manager. Oh, footsteps going in there. Uh, sure. <laughs> ID card. I don't remember any card reader in this place. Oh. Sequestered does not equal safe. Some more ammo. Press R2 to fire. Why are you telling me that now? That's how you basically hip fire without aiming? another door back here. City clerk. More footsteps that disappear. Oh. Something special about this secret thing. Devil's pit stop. Yeah, we were just there a little while ago. I feel like I'm supposed to do something with that, like, you know, there's a little um, safe behind it or something. Surely I'm not just supposed to look at that and that's it, but what can I do with it? Examine. That just looks at it. Hit it. That does nothing. Huh. Treasurer. Oh, that takes an ID card. I should look at that ID card, see if there's something on it. Director's identification card? Nope, that's it.
Hmm, there's a code. I gotta put a bunch of different things together. Oh! <laughs> Whoa. That's neat. Whoa, this one goes under that one. Look at it snake along. It's like it's possessed. This is actually a pretty tough puzzle to solve without looking at a couple clues. I wasn't looking at any particular clues, I was just trying to match up the images, but it's actually really hard to do that. I mean, let me put this into place. So this one goes under, like in the middle and under all of them, just poking through in the center. But look what happens when you remove this one. Like those two little lines for these two up here become the rest of the eight and the five. Just a tiny bit on those. And also a tiny bit of the one as well, all in this single piece. It's actually really hard to match up without clues, but if you take all the papers away, it's immediately obvious that there's like a bunch of dirt on the table that has covered everything but where these used to be. So there's like slots pre-made for them. So once you start fitting some stuff in there, then it gets a lot easier. There we go. Yeah, that's a really cool puzzle. 851136. That's gotta be for the uh, digital pad. Not for the door. The door needed, I think, four digits. Yeah, that's super cool. Did I go in here? No. Dangerous beauty. Once again, no plaque. Beautiful picture of the mannequins. This is a maze. Probably best to lead it away. Yeah, come this way. It's actually not bad. Packs a lot of punch and doesn't break easily like the chairs. Terrible range though, and pretty slow. Could I do a strong attack with it? Yeah. Elevator? Hmm. Is it coming? I like that Murphy actually says something about it, like they're as frustrated and confused as me. Like, why the hell doesn't the thing work? The button's lit up. There's a trail that leads there. Okay, I've explored everywhere down here. Well, pretty much. Everywhere that I can go anyway. Wait, I missed a door in 101. Yeah, I missed this door here on the right, in the back of this place. Is it because the camera doesn't let me see it? Yeah, how strange, look. You see that door right there. I'm just gonna mash X. Weird. 
Is there any way to get to it from the other side? No, there's no other door into there. That is very strange. And unnerving. What's in there? Right, well, back to the keypad on the second floor. 851136. 851136. Where does this take me on the map? Where's this going? Hmm. Oh, I guess around to a whole section that I haven't been able to access? It looks like. It's all these different rooms, like 205, 204. I'm not sure why it says that I've tried the doors and they're locked for 203 and 202. I don't think I've ever even been there. Shepherd House. I'm starting to think there's something special about these paintings. Like, a code hidden on them or something. Nothing showing up in the UV light. Let's try no light. Let's try normal light. Is there something in the painting itself that would indicate a number? Like a, I don't know, a number somewhere. I don't see anything. Oh, hi. How did that miss? This thing is so bad. Also, I'm still terrible at combat. It's pretty interesting, actually. They're obviously very deliberately giving me these much shorter or easily breakable items like chairs and, and this thing instead of the normal, you know, sticks. Sticks and pipes and stuff. There's actually probably two reasons for that. One, I imagine, is just to try to change up the gameplay a bit, you know, give you a bit of a different challenge, because if there's always weapons like pipes and axes available, I mean, who's ever going to use a chair? But if they force you to use it, I mean, you have to. So that's kind of interesting on its own, but also, it's probably because it's a library. Right? Like, there's not really going to be shovels and axes inside of libraries. Not that it makes a huge amount of sense for them to be all over the place in the outside world, but it definitely makes less sense for them to be in a library. But a fire extinguisher and a bunch of chairs, of course that's in a library. Should I heal? Hmm, they're clutching their side. Oh. Yeah. Community development. <laughs> Just a blood stain on the wall over there. Not even anywhere you can stand. How did it get there? I think I could climb this to the upper level. Oh. Cairn, PsyD, licensed clinical psychologist, phone number, helping individuals and couples cope with the loss of a child. 
That's got to be important somehow. Who lost a child? Was it Murphy? Because most of the stuff we found has been related to our case. It's been a fire here. Lucky it didn't burn down the whole library. Libraries are pretty flammable. There's still some stuff undone on this floor and the lower floor. That place that needed four digits and all those books with the UV light that illuminated them. Also the elevator. But maybe this is part of that. I wonder if this will hold me. Don't want to go too far before I go back and try to solve that stuff, though. I'm assuming I can still go back. Climb down? Yeah. They're seriously lucky this whole place didn't burn down. This is a pretty big fire. Third floor map. What's on the third floor? It's not the library anymore. Video archive. Maybe it is still the library, actually. Whoa, crates of green tea. Uh, did the game just crash? It's frozen. I'm scared. When's the last time it saved? Thankfully, my last save was from right here, so I didn't lose any progress. Let's go take another look at the green tea. Nice. 